Hi, my name is Mr. D, and today I want to take a look at writing the converse of a conditional statement. So we have write the converse of the following conditional statement, and we're looking at if it is raining outside, then the ground will get wet. So looking at the general structure of a conditional statement, all conditional statements will be of the form if then. So when we're writing the converse, notice our first statement is our hypothesis. And the second statement is our conclusion. The conclusion comes after the word then, the hypothesis comes after the word if. So when we write the converse, all we do is that we're going to flip the two statements. So that means that the conclusion is going to come first, then the hypothesis is going to come second. So the only skill you really need for this is to be able to identify both statements. So looking at our conditional statement, the hypothesis is coming after the word if, and our hypothesis is it is raining outside. So we have, it is raining outside, and to identify our conclusion, which we're calling statement Q, is coming after the word then, so our conclusion is the ground will get wet. So all we need to do, once again, to write the converse is we're going to write the conclusion first and the hypothesis second, or in simple words, we're just flipping the statements in the order that they appear in the conditional statement. So to flip these two statements, our converse is going to read, if the ground is wet, Then, and now we can write statement P, it is raining outside. So it is raining outside. So now there's two things to keep in mind as we look at the final answer here. Notice that statement Q was altered a bit. When you're writing the converse, sometimes it'll mess up the grammatical structure of your first sentence. Because notice if we said, if the ground will get wet, doesn't really sound good grammatically. So what we do is, we can change the statement slightly just to make sure that it has a grammatical flow to it. And one other thing that's worth mentioning, when you're talking about conditional statements, you're going to talk about truth value a lot. So if we're starting off assuming that if it is raining outside, then the ground will get wet, we'll assume in our universe that that's a true statement. It's not necessarily true, though, that if the ground is wet, then it is raining outside. So the converse is not necessarily logically equivalent. Not necessarily logically equivalent. You'll hear that phrase thrown out a lot with these type of statements. Because think about it. If the ground is wet, the, the ground could be wet because somebody's watering their grass and they pour some water into the street. So if the ground is wet in that scenario, it doesn't necessarily have to be raining outside. So this, the converse, is not always going to be true. So just one thing to keep in mind is the converse is not necessarily logically equivalent to the original conditional statement. But our task was just to write the converse. So this is our final answer here. And this is going to conclude this video. Thank you all for watching, and I hope that this was helpful.